Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video because um, you have been with me on my zero waste journey and sometimes it is so hard. I find zero waste very, very difficult. In fact, it is impossible to reach zero waste. It's really just a term we use as a goal, um, but no one ever actually achieves zero waste. However, I am trying to reduce my waste as much as I can. Some of these things I have been doing for years, some of these things are new for me, but I just want to show you what I'm actually doing because we could talk about zero waste tips all over the place and some of them are really hard for example I do not like the bulk section I'm gonna say it out loud anyone with me bulk section not my thing there are some things in the bulk section I'm okay with other things they're not so fresh they don't really they're just not up to my standards you know what I'm saying but there are so many things that we can do to just reduce how much plastic that we use how much waste we're producing and they're really really simple and it actually isn't even a sacrifice at all number one I must discuss these reusable plastic bags that I have been getting comment after comment after comment about because I use them to freeze bananas. I love these reusable plastic bags. They're so awesome. Uh, they are by a company called Blue Avocado and I think the, the line is called ReZip. Um, they look very, they look kind of almost opaque. Um, they're a little foggy. It doesn't mean that they're dirty. This is how they come. It's just because it's a very durable kind of plastic because I use them all the time. They come in different sizes. I love peeling and freezing ripe bananas for smoothies. I used to do it in regular plastic bags. I don't like doing it in containers because when they're in containers, you're wasting so much space in your freezer, right? So this is just like the perfect solution. I highly recommend these. I'll put the link for all this stuff below. Number two is containers for fruits and veggies that you've opened and you're not quite finished with. Maybe you slice a lemon in half and you squeeze it into your water and then you, will put it, you want to put it in the fridge for the next day or something. Instead of wrapping it with, what's it called? I don't even remember the name. I haven't used it in so Plastic wrap. I instead use containers that I can just put them in here, seal it up, and then put it in the fridge just like that. There's, you can just use any sort of Tupperware. I've been doing this for years actually. It makes so much sense and what's so cool about a lot of these zero waste tips is most of them are also money saving tips because if you're just constantly using plastic wrap all the time, you're eventually gonna need to buy more but this stuff lasts for almost forever, basically. Number three is about straws. Now, what I have been doing for a long time are these beautiful reusable straws that I use at home because I drink smoothies almost daily and I don't want to drink it like this, so I like to prefer it, you know, with the straw. I've been using reusable straws all the time at home for years. However, the new thing I've been implementing is the no straw please at restaurants. It is a challenge because servers are just accustomed to putting straws in their drinks. It's no one's fault. It's just their habit. And you say no straw please and they still bring you a straw. I've heard this one tip where you can bring your straw with you and say no straw please. I have my own so that they have a visual to really help them understand ah they don't need a straw and they're more likely to remember. Straws are one of those things that are just so ridiculous. We don't need straws to drink water out of. However, if you prefer, if you really like drinking your drink out of a straw, no problem. Just bring your own. It's very simple. Something I've been doing for quite a while is having a reusable water bottle with me at all at all times. This is the, the trendy one you're supposed to have, especially in Orange County. If you have a hydro flask, it means you're like in. Well, I love this Hydro Flask. It's so freaking durable. It keeps my drinks cold forever and ever. And I just bring it with me so if I'm going to get a juice somewhere, I can ask them to fill it up in here very easily. Obviously, I have water in it. I never use plastic water bottles unless I am absolutely dying of thirst or something like that. But it's very rare because I always have this. I've been doing this for years. The new thing I've been implementing is... My collapsible coffee cup. Now, I don't get coffee and tea a lot, but when I do, I don't have something with me to have a hot drink, so I recently bought this. I did some research and found the best one. I hope it's the best one, and I really like it. It's called Stojo, and it's very easy to use. Um, when you want to collapse it back up, it's easy if you just use this to kind of get you started and get it going, and then you just push the rest of it in extremely simple and look how small it is. I hate having big bulky stuff with me all the time. I already have this with me so I don't want like another thermos. I, so I'd really prefer having such a small thing to put in my purse. I love it. Something I've been doing for years is using bamboo utensils instead of plastic one-use plastic ones. Um, however, something new I've been kind of implementing and really trying to do is to use these 
more often so I normally just you know bring this with me on a trip or something like that but now I bring them to parties because at parties there's always um, plastic utensils around and rather than you know I'm not responsible for anyone else's waste I'm only responsible for my own so instead of using someone else's plastic fork spoon or knife that they're giving me I have my own and it even comes with chopsticks and what's great about these little containers this is called to go wear everyone has this this is like a typical thing is you can also fit your straw in there. It's a little snug, but you know, you can make it work. And then you have a little kit. Toilet trays is one area where I'm not perfect. Um, now I already use, oh gosh, there's so many things I already do. I already have the menstrual cup, the diva cup, which I love. I've been using that for years and I've already been reducing my waist by so much using that. Um, I recently got this shaver. It's by Albatross Sailing Company. I think that's their name and I really like it. You just have to be careful. You can't just like shave super fast and in a frantic state like your old plastic razors. You have to be careful because these are sharp using a real razor blade um, but it's got such a nice weight to it and it actually gets you a nice close shave. Um, I also have been using a bamboo toothbrush for a couple years. Um, it's such a great way because even the this the packaging of this toothbrush is not plastic so win. Win, win, win. Personally, I still use like the like toothpaste that comes in a plastic container, but if we're taking baby steps, okay? These are things that I, I can do to reduce my waste right now. I'm not into the whole make your own toothpaste thing yet, especially because I kind of don't understand how that actually reduced your waste because you're using containers from other ingredients to add into your mason jar to, I don't know, please explain to me how making your own toothpaste is actually reducing waste. Maybe I'm clueless about that. Something else I've been doing ever since I moved into my parents' house, actually, because they have good plumbing, plumbing that can handle it, is flushable cat litter. So I use a cat litter called the world's best cat litter or something like that. I'll put it right here so you can see. I actually really do like this cat litter. It clumps very, very well, and I just, when I you know, clean the cat box, I just dump it into the toilet. And if you, if your plumbing's like so-so, I've heard a tip where you can kind of let the cat waste sit in the water for a minute or two, maybe five minutes, and then you flush it so it kind of softens it up. But I love it and I have been reducing my plastic so much by just being able to flush it down the toilet because for those of us who have cats, you know, it's very normal to just put the cat waste into a plastic bag and then taking that plastic bag to the trash can. It's just so unnecessary if you have good enough plumbing to flush the cat litter. Uh -huh. Something I have been doing for a couple of years now is using rags instead of paper towels to clean. Trust me, I used to have a love affair with paper towels. They're so easy, they're so convenient. It feels like they just absorb everything up. And I still use paper towels for some things, such as cleaning up the throw up of Prince, who throws up more than his brother. I'm not gonna use this rag to clean up his throw up. I'm sorry, that's just like a little gross for me. Maybe one day I'll get there. I'm still using paper towels to clean up vomit. but. For everything else, I use this rag, you know, it's from Home Depot. It's nothing special, it's just a rag, but it's very absorbent and it, it's great for cleaning. Something new I've been doing is, maybe in the past six months or something, I've been actually using cloth napkins instead of paper napkins or paper towels for eating. Stuff like that. You know what a napkin's for. I don't know about you, but everyone my age, whenever I go to their house for dinner, we just hand out paper towels for napkins while we're eating, and that's just, it's very convenient, right? Like, I love paper towels, like I said. But, you know, cloth nap napkins are actually so easy as well. We just think of them as, like, special occasion napkins, or, like, these are the fancy napkins, but they don't have to be. Make them an everyday thing, and you're already reducing your waste. Now, here's the thing. You might say, well, paper towels, you know, like, they're gonna decompose. They're not, they're not that big of a deal. It's not like plastic. Aha! You're right. However, the paper towels come wrapped in plastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think about that. All the paper towels, like individual rolls are wrapped in plastic and then giant bags of them are wrapped in plastic when we get them from Costco. So if we use cloth napkins instead, I got this from a thrift store. Another thing that I didn't even put on my list but I'm gonna bring it up now because it's great, is this new toilet paper company called Who Gives a Crap. This company is incredible. They use recycled materials to create their toilet paper because most toilet paper is made from virgin trees, which is so crazy to me. Like, why would we do that? Why don't we just use re recycled paper for something that is wiping our- So, now listen, there are lots of toilet, like eco-friendly toilet paper companies out there, but what 
boggles me is that almost all of them are wrapped in plastic. Like what, like, why? If you're trying to do something good for the earth, why are you wrapping your product in plastic? I understand you have to keep your toilet paper dry, but you know, who gives a crap? Who, get, who gives a crap just wraps them in paper and then they ship them to you in a cardboard box and the only plastic in their packaging at all is a single strip of tape on the box. So we actually partnered with Who Gives a Crap on a recent podcast episode for Earth to Us and I reached out and asked if they wanted to extend the discount code to you guys and they said yes of course. So if you want $10 off your first order of Who Gives a Crap just go to that link below. And I haven't even mentioned the fact that they do all these like amazing things for humanity and stuff for people who who don't have access to sanitary bathrooms. They build bathrooms for people. It's so cool. The last zero waste thing I've been doing for quite a while is bringing my own grocery bag to the store. Come on guys, if you're not bringing your own grocery bag, you're not even trying. Just start with this step. Bring a cloth bag, get these bags that roll up and fit into your purse or just leave them in your car so every time you go to the store, you always have a bag with you. It's just such a simple way to reduce your waste. Now, next step, you wanna go like, next level is to bring your own produce bags. You do not need a plastic bag to put five apples in. You just don't. You can put them right in your cart, but if you want a bag, use a bag. I use bags for lettuce because it does make it last longer, so I use a bag. But I bring my own, I reuse it, I wash it out, it's totally fine, and I reduce so much waste doing this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry I'm talking so fast, I just hate really long videos, so I try to speed it up. Let me know what you think. Bye!